just have to watch it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so there might there might be there might be sides to this stuff that we do again and again and again that we don't think about so much. Here's the point. Here's why I'm thinking about this. Here's why I want to talk about it because it's it's a really important thing that's going on in the lottery. When when you recognize another culture and you recognize that there's something that appears very strange to you about that culture, okay? Um, it's important to recognize that the people in that culture might not be the same way. Okay, they might have a very different perception of it. A very different perception of it. There are people who I'm sure are very, very happy with pep rallies as their as their health, even in the most violent schools. Uh, I'm sure there are people who are very happy with how prom turned out for them. I'm sure there are people who are very happy spending all their time watching um, uh, Sunday Night Football. Um, um, but we got to be able to think about it from a couple of angles, okay? And one of the great things about literature is that it invites us to consider things from a couple of different angles. And if one of the great things about the story of the lottery is that it invites us to think about a couple, th things from a couple, couple of different angles, things which might seem pretty normal to us, but which might not be. Can anyone think of any other kind of major cultural traditions that we might have, which might have a dark side that we don't think about that much or that often? Going to McDonald's, getting a double cheeseburger. Going to... Mm -hmm. and like everybody from other countries is looking at us like they're disgusting, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we're, it's just normal for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that. Well, <laughs> I, <do it> <laughs> I, <don't. laughs> I was waiting for that part. Uh, I think that's a very good point. Um, what, uh, how people kind of, uh, how they eat and exercise and things like that. We tend not to think that much about it, um, and it gets kind of out of hand. Well, we um, like in this country we eat dinner. Like most people eat dinner fairly early. In other countries, like. They eat dinner really late, like yep. eight or nine o'clock at night, and they stay up a lot later. Like there was um, a group of OG students that just went to Portugal and they just got back, mm -hmm. and they said that people, like people our age will go out, they don't come home till six in the morning. Yep. Like they eat dinner like nine o'clock at night, and then they go out and till six o'clock in the morning, and they do it every day. Yep. Like it's just common. It's just common. It's just it's part of the culture. Yeah, we typically have like a three meal a day, like breakfast, yeah. lunch, and dinner, but that's actually really unhealthy to to eat mm -hmm. that much. The way that we use it. Mm -hmm. Like other countries, other mm -hmm. cultures eat like one or two meals a day. Yeah. We also have a work week, which is which is one of the longest in the world, uh, and that affects our sleep. Um, in, in in the United States, the the forty hour work week is not a universal constant, and that's if you're only working forty hours a week. Many people work many more than that, especially if you're going to school, right? Uh, at the same time as you're working, but but like you know the thirty five the thirty two hour week is more common in other nations. And, and a lot of Americans will look at that and be like, hey, wow, that's really lazy. Uh, but it's, like, if you ask someone from one of those countries, they would be like, no, I'm not lazy. I'm, I'm happy more than you are because uh, I'm able they to also sleep. They also vacation time in the U.S. is lower than other countries. Absolutely. They have, they Absolutely. have like, um, I know a lot of countries, they have like an hour or two hours off in the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. like, now there are, we work all the way straight through. There are upsides and downsides to both systems. I'm not trying to push one way or the other. But, but what I want you to recognize is that um, um, you know, cultural difference is one of the things that stories invite us to think about. And, I, and we're going to see that with our reading for tomorrow, which is a very old man with enormous wings, which, which, you're going to, which takes place in, in South America. Uh, and we're going to find, I think, a lot of things to talk about when it comes to that story.